what's up? I'm here with Kevin George, um, graduate of Stanford High in 2015. Tell me a little about yourself. Um, Kevin George, but best known as George Hancock. Um, graduated in 2015. So, like, growing up in, like, music culture, who was one of your biggest inspirations? I always looked up to, to Kanye. Um, he was the first person who, who, like, really inspired me to, like, be hands-on and, and make your own beats and and control co control your sound and your music. So Kanye is one. Later on, I got introduced to The Weeknd and um, Prince. And The Weeknd and Prince pretty much molded uh, my whole sound, really. Just, uh, yeah. And there's a whole the list goes on about inspirations. Pharrell, Travis Scott, uh, Calvin Harris, freaking Michael Jackson, Tears for Fears, like, hella. All right, so when was the first time you made your first song? Um, I mean, I made my first song. Um, like, if, if I want to go really, really deep, I made my first song when I was 11. But, like, I wrote it, and I just disregarded it. But when I really made my first song is when I was 15. I was a sophomore at Stanford High. And um, my homie David, David Cresino, um, we, we we really like relinked up at my homie Steven's crib and we were doing like this we played like this football freestyle game where it was like me, Steven, David and and Justin, one of the homies Justin. And um we were like I played football, so I was like they knew I played football so we were just throwing the football around and this guy's like, Yo, if you drop the ball you gotta drop a quick sixteen. So I, I low key like dropped the ball on purpose and, and then I just started like rapping. Next thing you know, like the next day, I'm at his, I'm at David's house, like recording. He had the whole setup. He's kind of like the first guy who uh, introduced me to like really what being an artist is, really. Um, and to this day, he's 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 my homie. He still got his own songs. He's my creative director. We're, we're dropping a new video on next Friday. So one of your biggest songs, High Like This, that really blew up. That was, it has a million streams on Spotify. Did that surprise you at all, or was that just something you were hoping for? Oh, we just hit a million plays on Spotify just now today. <laughs> yeah, so a million today um, after uh, less than two months. So it, it's it's blowing up, you know, it's, it's not really stopping. It's blowing up, and uh, the success... Um, it was surreal, but it, it was expected because um, the team that I, ha I have surrounded with me is is a pretty legendary team. Touring, I'm, I'm going to do a tour in September, uh, maybe like 200, 300 people um, sell it out. And, you know, go go um, Connecticut, New York, uh, you know, L.A., uh, Texas, Atlanta, maybe Toronto. I have a f I have – a lot of people in Toronto who really, really f uh, like my music. <laughs> so basically, on your Instagram a while back, you were explaining just, just what you've been through in music and stuff. And one of the segments and part of one of the little passages was uh, a little bit about principal at Stanford High, Mr. Escobar. Would you like to speak all about that? Well, like, yeah, in the, in the note. Um, you know, I was just giving a little piece of my story, and um, I kind of just wanted people to know how I got to where I am, like, right now, which was it in the last three years. I graduated class of 2015, um, and I kind of barely graduated, but, you know, the thing about Escobar is, like, me and Escobar had, like, this meeting, uh, kind of like my f second semester in junior, my junior year. Um, which was, like, the middle, and, and he came up to me, and he's like, yo, man, like, you know, your grades are, like, I, I haven't seen this in a while, like, your grades are just, like, <laughs> it just, like, plummeted, <laughs> and, um, you know, and I was just like, man, I, I just want to be a producer, I know exactly what I want to be, and I feel like school, um, you know, school just isn't, like, um, it's just not necessary to get to where I want to go, do you really want to put all your eggs in one basket? You know, and that's what he was telling me. He's like, do you really want to just, you know, are you so sure about that? You know, because it's like, you know, you have good grades and you don't want to just screw all this up. Like right now, just because of like some wild dream. 
And that really inspired me because he kept it 100% real. He didn't sugarcoat anything. And, you know, he gave me an opportunity. He's like, man, I'm going to get, I got this tracer for you. Uh, go go to, like, every teacher. Get all the work that you've missed this whole last two semesters. And we're going to, you're going to get the chance to, you know, up your grades. And just in time for, like, college applications. And, um, you know, but then he, he gave me a choice. He was basically like, it's up to you, like, you know, n- never come to my office ever again or do come to my office. And, you know, I took that to heart and it really inspired me um, to do what I had to do at home to become what I wanted to become. You know, I'll, five years from now, I'll be 26 and I hope to have signed a few kids from Stanford um, who have that same passion in arts or film, whatever, um, you know, I, I just want to, I want to invest in kids and I want to make dreams come true.